Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Nari Heshmati. I'm a board certified OBGYN uh, north of Seattle in the Everett, Washington area. And today I'm in Mukilteo and I'm gonna talk to you about echogenic intracardiac focus or EICF. Now, this is something that is considered a soft marker that you see on an ultrasound uh, during your pregnancy at that big anatomy scan that we're doing around 18 or 20 weeks. And I wanted to do a video talking about this one because this is one of those things that comes up that can really be a source of concern for a patient. You know, you go into that ultrasound and you're excited, you know, oftentimes patients are going to find out the gender and you just want to know that everything is okay. And then somebody tells you, well, we saw something here and it might be something, it might be not, and it's very normal to be concerned. So we're just going to break down what is an echogenic intracardiac focus and why do we care and what do we do about it. So echogenic intracardiac focus, echogenic. So when you look at an ultrasound, it's a black and white picture, you know, variations of gray. Echogenic just means that that area is highlighting white. So if you look at amniotic fluid on an ultrasound, it looks black. If you look at bone, it looks white. So an echogenic intracardiac focus highlights white very similar to bone. Intracardiac, so it's in the heart of focus. So basically that whole big string of words just means that when they're doing the ultrasound of the baby, they see a small area in the heart that highlights white similar to what bone would look like. Now typically with an echogenic intracardiac focus it's isolated, meaning there's only one spot, but it can be multifocal. And it's usually in the left ventricle, although it could be on either one. Now, the reason that this matters, and the reason that we even mention it and we look for it is, you know, we found out looking at ultrasounds that about 22 to 29 percent of babies with Down syndrome will have this finding on there. So there's an association there. Now, that's part of what causes a lot of concern. Patients hear this, they think, my baby has Down syndrome. Well, there's something that you should know. This is a soft mark, meaning while it's got an association with things like Down syndrome, it doesn't necessarily mean if that finding's there that there's anything abnormal. In fact, in three to five percent of all normal pregnancies, we're gonna see this. So that's even gonna vary from ethnicity. So for instance, in an Asian patient, there's up to 30% of the time you're gonna see an echogenic intracardiac focus in a completely normal ultrasound. So that's why we call it a soft marker, meaning while it has an association, that risk is really low. What we often tell patients is this tells us that we've got to look and just make sure the rest of the ultrasound looks normal and in a low risk patient with an otherwise normal ultrasound this means nothing and it's completely fine it's just considered a normal variant um, you know the something to consider about this patients will say well should we follow this up in a later ultrasound most of the time if there's an echogenic intracardiac focus there it's going to be gone if we do another ultrasound in the third trimester the other thing is this has no association with abnormal heart function or anything like that. It's not an actual structural finding. It's more of an imaging finding. It simply tells us that we need to do a little bit of a better look and we need to make sure there's nothing else abnormal there. And when you talk about what's the risk profile that we see with something like that, for instance, if I've got an 18-year-old patient who has this finding on her ultrasound, otherwise normal, otherwise low risk, that her risk of a baby with Down syndrome is still less than a 35-year-old patient that doesn't have this finding on ultrasound because things like Down syndrome have a higher association of risk as we get older. So this is basically something that we look at, we say, hey, this is a soft marker, it's there, we just need to look a little bit closer, and then we can talk about do we want to do any screening tests. You know, in one of our other videos where we talk about screening for chromosomal abnormalities, we talk about cell-free DNA, quad screen, all these blood draws we can do for reassurance. And this is when that discussion takes place and say, should we do something else to reassure ourselves? We don't have to, but we can. Now, personally, how I handle these, I don't do another ultrasound later in pregnancy because I don't feel it's necessary. This finding, again, is just going to go away. And I do often recommend to my patients, let's do some kind of blood screening test like a cell-free DNA or a quad screen because it's hard not to be anxious when this finding is there. Uh, on my son's ultrasound, they actually had this on there. The rest of the ultrasound was normal, and it turned out to be fine. But, you know, you go into this, and you want everything to be perfect, and you don't want anything to be concerning. And so when you see this, it's normal to be a little anxious. It's normally concerned. And it's perfectly reasonable to do some kind of follow-up testing or screening or blood test just to make sure that everything looks fine. So essentially what we're saying here is it's a soft marker it has a very small association with things like Down syndrome. It's probably fine. It's not a structural abnormality. We just need to look more and don't stress out about it. And if you just had that ultrasound done, you're almost halfway done with your pregnancy. So congratulations and good luck.